Welcome back to Baking for Fun. Today we're making chocolate truffles. Today's recipe is extremely easy because we really only need three ingredients. And today I'm going to be making a half recipe and that makes about 15 to 16 truffles. So all the measurements are going to be from the half recipe, but I will put the full recipe in the description box and that makes about 30 to 32 truffles. So first you're going to need some of the Baker's semi-sweet chocolate and this is baking chocolate and I recommend you get the Baker's brand because at our grocery store at least they have the Baker's one and a no-name one and the Baker's really does make a difference. And you're going to be needing four squares of that, so four ounces. You'll also be needing, again, Baker's baking chocolate, the white chocolate kind. And that you're going to be needing six squares. Alright. And lastly, some Philadelphia cream cheese, and this is the regular, but you can also use light if you want to. And we're going to be taking the uh, full bar and cutting it in half because you only need four ounces and one tub is eight. First thing you're going to do is take your semi-sweet chocolate, and that was again four ounces, and we just roughly chopped it up. And we're going to be melting this in the microwave, and we're going to be doing 30 second intervals. And what that means is we're going to put it in for 30 seconds, take it out, stir it a bit, put it in again for 30 seconds, and keep doing that until it is all melted. So we will come back once this is all melted. So we melted our chocolate and took about two minutes, and we did again 30 second interval so we mixed every 30 second to make sure it did not burn now you're going to take some softened cream cheese and this is four ounces we just softened it in the microwave for a couple seconds well now you're going to put all that chocolate in there and uh, use some oven mints because it is pretty hot so we got all the chocolate in there and you're going to just take a spatula and mix it in with the cream cheese now, while I'm mixing this, I will tell you that you can use any type of chocolate that you want. This is going to be the filling or the center of the truffle. So, we're doing a chocolate center, and with the, um, the coating of it will be white chocolate. But you can, of course, change that. You can put, so you can put a white center. You could also do um, chocolate and peanut butter. We've done that before, and it was very good. Um, you could do dark chocolate. You could do, um, I've never tried the butterscotch chips, but you could try that. That may work. Just anything that you want. Be creative with this. So we're just mixing that up. And it's almost all mixed. It does mix pretty easy. And once it's all incorporated, we're going to put this in the fridge just to cool down. We want it to be cold when we're rolling them. Alright, so it's been in the fridge for about five minutes and it's just cooled down. You want it to be pretty cold when you start rolling them. So what you're going to do is we just took a plate with parchment paper. But if you're doing the full recipe, then you're going to want to take like a cookie sheet because you're going to get it a lot. So we're just going to take a plate and we put some parchment paper over top. And what we're going to be using is this. This is a cookie scooper and it's really good because it gives you kind of like the perfect shape to work with because you want bite size balls. Um, if you don't have it, you can just eyeball it or you can just take like a teaspoon, take a bit of that and then roll it in your hands. All you want it to be is just bite size. So you can pick how big or how small it is. So what we're going to do is just take some. I'm not too overfilling it too much. I'm just going to take it in my hand, and I'm just going to roll it. And then, the colder it is, the less sticky it'll be. But if you're finding it too sticky, you can just put some like flour in your hand or something like that. Or grease them. But see, we just made a little ball. We're going to put it right on the plate. Okay, so we're just going to roll them all up. So this is what it looks like when all the balls are rolled out. And now we're just going to put them in the fridge for about an hour. You want them to be really chilled and really hard because we're going to be dipping them in the white chocolate. So we're just going to put them in the fridge and come back when they are done. 
So we just took out our truffles and they were in the fridge for again about an hour. And now we're going to take the white chocolate. And it just looks like this. And we're going to melt this. It'll probably take as long as it did for the, the semi-sweet chocolate to melt. So about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Alright, so now we melted our chocolate. What I like to do is take one of the truffles. Okay, then just drop it in. Then kind of go in the chocolate and cover it as much as you can. And then bring it up. Don't try to play with it too much because that's when it starts like um, kind of falling apart. And then just let it drip off. And then put it on another plate. And I'll do another one just to show you. So you just drop it in. Kind of move it around. Coat it all, and then take it. It's best to use a fork because it like lets it kind of drain off. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do them and come back. Okay. So we covered them all up, and just for a finishing touch, we took some excess um, semi-sweet chocolate that we had left. And we just melted that and we're going to take a fork and just um, kind of drizzle it on top of them. This is actually pretty messy work. I think the messier it looks, the, like, the messier you are, the better the truffle will look. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, like, I know it kind of looks weird, but it actually makes it look really good. You can see here we did a huge, like, glob on it, but that's fine. Just the messier it is, it's okay. This is one. Make sure you have enough on the fork too. <laughs> the cameraman's <laughs> laughing. I'm not sure why. But see, they look pretty cool. Okay, that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and again if you you can use any type of chocolate you want for the inside and for the outside coating you, you can pick whatever you want you can also make them a little bit more festive by putting some sprinkles on them some colored sprinkles you can also put some nuts on them do whatever you want so that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed subscribe and see you guys later bye